Greetings to your excellencies, permanent representatives, and distinguished colleagues. I want to extend my gratitude to Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield, Prime Minister Erna Solberg, and Director General Dr. Tedros for your leadership. I also want to thank the permanent representatives of Argentina, Japan, Norway, and South Africa for co-hosting this event. We are at a pivotal moment in the history of the world. President Joe Biden and I firmly believe that what we do now will determine our collective future. And that is certainly true in regards to the pandemic preparedness and response. The United Nations and the international community have rallied together in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I am proud that on the first day of our administration, the United States re-engaged with the World Health Organization. In fact, I spoke with Director General just the day after that, my very first call to an international leader. And since then, we have invested billions and just received an additional $11 billion in support of the global response to the pandemic. We will continue to champion COVAX and to do our part to support equitable access worldwide. At the same time, that the world works to get through this pandemic, we also know that we must prepare for the next. We must be ready, resilient, and responsive. First, we must get ready. Every country must have a strong health system that everyone can access, and a workforce that can detect and stop unexpected threats. To accomplish this, we need to establish a new and sustainable mechanism to finance health security. And that means providing concrete incentives. It means innovative approaches. It means defining real oversight and accountability structures. And it also means establishing a set of triggers so that we can quickly sound the alarm when a health emergency strikes and not lose precious time. Second, we must build resilience. Our communities need to be strong enough to lead and innovate during a health crisis. We need to invest in science, health workers, the well-being of women, and our public institutions so they are prepared for the next emergency. And finally, we must be responsive. We need surge capacity in every region so that every country can access personal protective equipment, vaccines, and tests. We need a system that can quickly produce more supplies and stage them around the world without hesitation. We have learned so much this year about pandemic preparedness and response. We have been reminded that the status quo is not nearly good enough and that innovation is indeed the path forward. For our part, the United States will work to end the pandemic with our partners and allies. We will invest in our health security at home and globally. And we will bring forward our best ideas for bold action while strengthening the global health security agenda for the future. We ask that this group of distinguished leaders establish consensus quickly so that we can work together to take concrete next steps. President Joe Biden and I look forward to continuing to partner with you, and the ambassador will brief us on today's outcomes. Thank you again, and may you have a productive meeting. The world is counting on us to work together and to get this right. Thank you all.